Hello and welcome to the Capital Area Food Bank video library. Today we are going to make roasted potatoes and Brussels sprouts. This is one of our great and easy recipes that you can find on the Capital Area Food Bank website linked below. So this is a great recipe and it serves six people for $4.21. Um, this is a perfect side dish um, to your favorite protein. You can just stick it in the oven. So let's get started. Okay, today what we have is our Brussels sprouts and I've cut up a few and we'll cut up some together. We have our potatoes. Um, these are the potatoes I chose. You could use whatever potato you have. You could even use sweet potatoes. Um, anything that you have or you're able to find will work for this recipe. We have four tablespoons of oil. We have two tablespoons of vinegar. So you can use any vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar today. We have one teaspoon of oregano, and then a fourth a teaspoon of both pepper and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. So this is, we're gonna mix all these together and put them over our vegetables and let them roast. So let's start cutting. Okay, if you've never cut a Brussels sprout before, it can be very overwhelming. They grow actually on a plant kind of like this, and so they get picked off. Um, and what we want to do is we want to cut this stem off. So we're going to cut that off on all three. I'm going to put these in my compost over here. And then we're just going to cut them in half. You can roast them whole, but they roast a lot easier in half. And sometimes these, um, leaves will fall off, that's fine. Throw them in with the rest and we will roast and those will get nice and crispy too. So we'll cut it in half again. And last one, we're gonna cut this in half. Perfect. So now you can see we have a whole pound of cut up Brussels sprouts. And now we're gonna cut our potatoes. So with a potato, I'm going to carefully cut it in half, flip it down on the flat side. And this small one, I'm only gonna cut one more time. So the pieces are about this size. I'm gonna throw those with the other potatoes. And for the bigger one, I'm gonna flip and I'm gonna cut this one two times so that they're about similar sizes as the last one. Let me show you. Just for roasting purposes. Again, if, if you're not able to do this, that's fine. Um, we'll make the potatoes work whatever size they are. So once we have everything cut up, I'm going to move my cutting board over here with my knife very carefully. And we're gonna make the, um, dressing that we're going to put on our roasted vegetables. So I'm going to put in the four tablespoons of oil. I'm going to put in my two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar or whatever vinegar you choose. My oregano smells so good. My salt and my pepper. And then we're gonna mix it all together. So I have a whisk right here. You can use a whisk, you can use a fork. We just really wanna mix it all together so that when we pour it over our Brussels sprouts and potatoes, they get everywhere. Ooh, it smells good. If you like the smell of vinegar, you are in luck. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna combine my potatoes and my Brussels sprouts. And now I'm going to pour my dressing all over them. Perfect. So if you would like to move it around a little, shake it, if you wanna use your hands, this is a great way to get kids involved too. Have them wash their hands. They can come mix all this together, get their hands nice and dirty. We are going to, um, put them on our baking trays. So today I'm using two. If you have a big one that fits in your oven, um, 
whatever works, but you just wanna make sure that the Brussels sprouts and the potatoes lay flat. So they're not really overlapping each other. That's kind of why I'm using two today because I have smaller sized. Okay. Oh, yum. Look at how beautiful those colors are. Oh my God, I love greens. And see, I'm shaking them out. You see, they're not really overlapping on each other much. Um, we don't, we've, if we'd done one tray, it would have been piled too high, but use your own judgment at home. So if your tray is about the size of these two combined, you should be totally fine to just use one tray. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stick them in our oven that we have preheated to 400 degrees. So once your oven is preheated, you can stick these in for about 15 minutes. Okay, let me put them in. Perfect, so we're gonna let those roast and then we'll check back in in 15 minutes to see how they're doing. I wish you guys were here to smell how good it smells in here. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to try these. So let me go take them out. We're going to take a look. We're going to mix them around and we're going to put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Oh, delicious. Put them here. Wow, you can see it sizzling. Listen, you can hear the crunch. And this is why we do definitely wanna move them around to make sure that we're not just cooking the same side on the hot pan the whole time. So we're gonna move them around. Oh, they look so good, they smell so good, but they still need a little bit more time. And so when we come back in about 15 minutes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke them and make sure that they're done um, and ready to eat before we begin eating. So back in the oven they go. And one more. Okay, well, I'll see you back here in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been another 10, 15 minutes, and let's go check on our Brussels sprouts and potatoes. Ooh, yum and so crisp. Oh my goodness, let's see. Pokes through very easily, so we know the potatoes are done. And the same over here. This is such a simple and easy side recipe. If you like this recipe and you want to try it for yourself, please click on the link below and take a look at the recipe and our other recipes we have to offer. I really hope you enjoyed today and I hope you get cooking.